Welcome back to Bohem and Bling. Today's video is gonna be 10 random facts about us, except it's gonna be more than that because 10 for her, for herself, 10 for me, for myself, and then 10 for each other. So basically you're gonna learn like 20 new facts today, 30, 40, I can't count. 20, 40. <laughs> you're gonna learn some new facts today about Boho and Bling. So let's go on and get straight into the video. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. All right. So, 10 facts about me. This is weird. Why do I feel weird? Because we don't do sit down videos. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Um, one, I take dance lessons. I do ballet and contemporary, and I've taken them for almost five full years now. I'm on my fifth year. Dang, son. Well, hey, Coco. Hi, baby. Fact number two let's talk about why I get hives. So if you've ever noticed when we're making a video, my face just goes red for no reason. Like, I mean, most, it's like, like I'll have it here and here and here and then my entire forehead. And here. <laughs> yeah, and like all the way down here. Okay, so I get hives for no reason. I swear I have a medical condition, y'all. I can't even say medical. She um, gets hives like it always. Like I'm not even, like half the time or three fourths of the time, I'm not even <laughs> embarrassed about something. Like I get, I my face, goes up in flames if I'm talking in public, um, if I get embarrassed, and sometimes it just goes up in flames for no reason. So <laughs> Every I night she has uh, one cheek that goes red. This is, yeah, this cheek goes completely red every night. So if you've ever seen me just go red, that's why. She gets time. And I'm not even embarrassed most of the time. So it's, yeah. Um, okay, fact number three, I love to read. Um, I read a lot when I was little because since we're a lot older, we didn't like hang out slash play whenever I was really little. Pause. I am nine and a half years older than Lydia. Practically 10. I know it doesn't seem like it because the space, but I am. I was nine and a half years old when she was born. And um, so a lot of her childhood was spent alone, alone because I was a hateful teenager. Yeah, and my brother is seven years, seven, seven and a half. I'm only two years and nine months older than my brother, but. So I hung out a lot alone when I was little. We definitely don't have any resentment with that. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I read a lot when I was little and then I kind of got out of it in between ages like eight and 14. <laughs> she was like choking. Eight and 14, yeah. And I recently started again and I really like it. I really like reading in the mornings when I wake up because I can just like pop my pillow up and just like read. Yeah, I like to read. My favorite, it would be mystery slash murder. Um, that's a little, that's a little rough to start out with. But she yeah. loves murder. <laughs> Those are my go-to book genres. Okay, um, number four. Oh, I'm extremely shy. That's number four. Um, so yeah, like I said, my face goes red when I start, like when I talk in public. Like, even at, like, I'm just talking to people that I have known for years, not, like, family. Well, depends. Um, like, my friends and stuff that I've known for a long time, if they're saying something and they, like, look at me for their, for, like, my opinion or something on a topic, like, my face just goes completely red. Like, I can't even talk. And if I do, my voice sounds completely just, like, broken. Like, it's shaky and squeaky. So, I, yeah, I'm very, very shy. So... We're expecting a high at any moment now, between those hours. Um, okay, what are we on, number five? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm allergic to dairy. Um, I haven't been, like, diagnosed by a doctor, but any time, almost any time, I eat dairy, I get sick. So I pretty much diagnosed myself with it, and I try to stay away from dairy anyways because it's bad for you. Except today, she ate a whole cheese stick. But yeah, so that's number five, which means um, no ice cream for the most part. Sometimes I cheat and I eat dough. <laughs> and a lot of times I have like a some get rid of it or whatever. But she doesn't care because she loves dough. I do. Okay, so that was number five. Whoa, I did not see any of those. All right, number six, I want tattoos. I have a slight obsession with tattoos. Not like I want my body covered, but I like small tattoos and I like words. I pretty much picked out where I want at least four of them to be right now. I know what I want, what font I want it to look like. Um, I really love them. And 
and I want one so bad. And I can't wait to get one, you can tell. But I picked out where I want several of them and like what tattoo I want there. Yeah, so I want tattoos. Okay, um, number seven, I think. This is kind of weird. Number seven, I want to dye my hair blue. Um, everyone is telling me that I'll hate it and once it's probably, once it's done, I'm sure I will, but I really want to try it. Maybe not even like permanent hair color, but like the semi-permanent that lasts for like 30 days or whatever. You ought to get the kind that just washes out. Like after a couple times? Yeah. I really should. I, don't, I wonder if mom will let me try that. Probably not. Probably would be like, well, I'm sick or something. I have to stay at home in bed and my hair's a lily. <laughs> but I really, if I was going to color my hair any color, I would want either a really dark, like, sapphire blue or, like, a dark, oh my gosh, like, maroon color. That would be my second choice. It would definitely be sapphire blue first and then a red slash maroon color because I like that one as well. But I feel like, I don't know, you're, it doesn't look the same as it would in pictures because people's hair is thick and thin and like short and long. Different base colors too. Yeah, especially if you have dark roots, then a darker color is probably gonna look better on you than if you have blonde hair and you go like blue. But anyways, number eight, I do not like pizza, burgers, or tacos, which is like... America. Yeah, <laughs> that's like what you eat. Um, I don't like any of them. Um, burgers, like, the, bro, don't even get me started on the texture of ground beef. It is just not it. Um, which also explains why I don't like tacos, and tacos are just mushy and gushy and gross. Um, and pizza, I can deal with pizza. Like, it's not like I hate it. I just don't enjoy it, and I'm not going to ask for it. Although I did have it on, like, my 14th birthday. Anyway, it's probably just because it was convenient. Okay, number nine. My hair needs to be really long. Before we started our YouTube channel, and probably a couple months before that, my hair was very, very long. Like, we're talking- Past her waist. Like, past, yeah, past my waist, like to my mid-thigh in a high ponytail. So like, it's all pulled up to here, and it's still hanging down to my thigh. So you can see, I obviously got it cut, but, I feel like it's like growing again and I'm gonna like try and get it long again, but not that long because it's like not even nice anymore. Okay, last but not least, number 10. This one is definitely very random. I'm interested in someone. Look, I was wanting other things to put down and this is true and I am. I actually talked to them today, but it's whatever. I like someone, so y'all keep your boundaries. <laughs> But those are my 10 random things. I hope you all liked them. <laughs> so definitely the most true out of all of them is the one about the hives. I get them every day. It's extremely annoying. And, and every night. And every night. And someone always assumes that I'm blushing. <laughs> and they're like, oh, you're blushing. Or do you like him? Or they're like, just leave it alone. It's a medical condition. So <laughs> it's definitely the most true and the most annoying out of all of them. Hey, y'all. My turn. Okay, number one, I played point guard in high school. And if you don't know what that is, it's basketball and it's the position in basketball. So in basketball, you have your point guard and your guard and your forwards and all that and your like center. Well, because I'm so short, I'm literally five foot even, I played point guard. So also I played on a co-ed team, which means it was girls and boys. And I played basketball for my entire, what year was that? Eighth grade? Eighth and ninth grade, I think. Both, actually seventh, eight, I play basketball seventh, eighth and ninth grade. But point guard, I played eighth and ninth grade. So that's my first one. I played, I played a lot of sports. I was gymnastics cheerleader, softball, basketball. I don't remember what else, but basketball was the main one. Number two. My favorite color is green. <laughs> so creative, so original. <laughs> I know. So I know you'd probably assume that my favorite color was something else because I'm a girl. But Why? You have plants everywhere. Yeah, but that's just because of my boho style. My, my, my favorite color has been green 
So I can only ever remember having three favorite colors and two of them were the same year and at the same time, pink and silver. It used to be my favorite colors when I was probably like seven. But from as far back as from the time I was about 10 and up, so the past 15 years, my favorite color has been green. Now it's changed shades of green. When I was a teenager, it was lime green. I used to want my walls lime green. Now it's like sage green, olive green, something like that. But pretty much any color, forest green, meadow green, moss green, any type of green. I love it. And my eyeballs are green, if you didn't know that. Number three, we are originally from Scotland. Scotland and Ireland. So I haven't done like extensive research because, you know, ancestry.com requires your DNA and all that. But I know that we are one of the oldest families from Scotland. We go back to the round table when uh, each tribe from Scotland would sit around the round table, whatever. We're from that time and then we migrated to Ireland. And from Ireland, we migrated here. Um, and that was only not that long ago did our ancestors migrate here. So if you ever wonder why we're so pale, and she has red hair, my dad's dad had red hair, my great grandma's mom had red hair, that's why. We have a lot of Irish and Scottish in us. And I am so proud of it. Look, I can just imagine our ancestors being in Mary Queen of Scots court. You know. Anyways. Ow! That moves me right into the next one, which is that I love history and literature. This could take up an entire video. But it won't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't y'all worry, I got you. I love history. Any type of history. Mostly types of history. <laughs> okay, here's my favorite types of history. Let it mask. <laughs> my favorite types of history. World War II. I'm sorry, but that was so away. World War II. World War II slash the Holocaust. I I have so many books. I, I had so many books on it. Both of them were where people it. died. Yeah, but I mean... this. Anyways, uh, the Titanic, anything about the Titanic and like the building of it, the slaves who, Irish slaves who built it, blah, blah, blah. Um, ancient Egypt, mummies, <laughs> tombs, pyramids, pharaohs, cemeteries, hieroglyphs. I love cemeteries. That's another, that should have been a, a fact about it. It's a happy me. place. I love, especially old cemeteries, like from like, as far back as you can possibly go back. I so just like elderly people, <laughs> dead elderly people. No, well actually, stones. actually the older ones were usually young people that died because it was in the war or infants due to like cholera okay, and diseases. I'm getting away. I love history. I love history. Oh, Native American history. I could go on and on and on. And literature, because you probably already know this from past videos, but I'm a poet. I like to write poetry. I like to write anything. I love English. I like to read, I like books, especially old books. I like dip pens and ink, all of it. I could talk about this for years, so let's move on. The next one, I've gained 20 pounds in two years. Oh, that's good. So when I was, no, hun. Some people can gain a thousand. <laughs> Hence our show that we reference. A thousand pounds in stuff. <laughs> anyway. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We have to do it. We have to do our thing. Don't forget the sodies. <laughs> I pay my bills and my bills are paid. My bills have been paid. You wait, wait, wait. Our favorite quote from the show. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have pepper everywhere. You have never been my size, Tammy. You don't know how it is. And that's how I feel. Y'all, I'm a little chunky as you can tell. When I was her age, and all the way actually up until two years ago, I was skinny, mini. I could wear a double zero, zero, extra small, small. Now we wear mediums and larges, honey. And that's because I've gained 20 pounds in two years. And I'm working on it. I've lost some weight. I've lost about two pounds in the past week and a half. So I'm working on it. I'm doing sit-ups. But I just thought I'd throw that in there. Next, I speak extremely loud. I laugh very loud. I'm deaf on... on I'm almost deaf on this side. I turn the TV up really loud. I'm just a loud person. As a matter of fact, I can you remember. Turn the TV up to 100. <laughs> Her I TV. I watch it on 24. <laughs> Her she TV. watches it on 100. <laughs> Not my TV. It's only up to 52. 68. <laughs> well, anyways, 
As literally as far back as I can remember, I can remember my dad telling me, stop shouting, I'm right here. You're not, and I used to tell him, I was born to be loud. But this is like when I was like three years old, I can remember Where'd it. Where'd you get that line? I don't know. I, I was born it. to be loud. I made it up. <laughs> Anyways, next, <laughs> I don't like sweets. Yeah. Now, I do like candy, so I, I different, different. I differentiate? Yes, I differentiate How did I know that sweets word? from candy. Because, like, I don't do, I like chocolate, but I don't like it a lot. I can eat one little piece of chocolate and I'm fine. I, I love sour that. candy, gummy candy, stuff like that. But I don't really do sweets. The only sweet that I really love is chocolate chip cookies and key lime pie. But that's not really sweet, that's sour. So, yeah, I love sour stuff, salty stuff. I and spicy stuff. I don't like. Did I just say that twice? No, no. Sour, salty, spicy. I don't like sweets. <clears throat> Which you know, you think, how did I gain twenty pounds in two years if I don't? Like <laughs> That's it. Okay. Yes, Next. because she uses soda as her excuse of like of, <laughs> of not having dessert. Yeah, I don't like dessert, so I just drink sodas and then. <laughs> and then I become a thousand pound Phil sister. Was, that's how Phil was born. <laughs> okay, next, I don't like pop music. <coughs> oh, some Harold Zombie? I do not like pop music. I don't like mainstream music at all. Now, I like a few songs from pop music, but. Yeah, um, medical condition. I, I'll ask Lydia, like, who is that? Who's singing that? What song is this? She'll reference something. I'm like, what's that? <laughs> I listen to, here's what I listen to. Folk, bluegrass. <laughs> no, I don't really listen to bluegrass. Okay. I love folk, but not bluegrass. My number one favorite music style is indie folk. After indie folk would probably be a tie between Celtic music, like Celtic woman, and poop. poop. <laughs> I said oop. Oh. Celtic woman, and then like vintage music, 1920s through the 1950s. I can do some. 90s and early 2000s, but we skipped over the 70s and 80s. But um, there's some. I like some of Aerosmith, and I like some stuff like that. Journey, I like, and stuff like that. But mainly indie folk, Celtic, and vintage. Okay, number nine. I have an obsession. An obsession <laughs> with crime shows. I don't know. Yeah. She I like it all. Of course, our all-time favorite is Criminal, Criminal Minds. Minds. But besides that... Sponsor us. Yes, Criminal Minds. Please. We, love you. we miss you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to watch you later. So, <laughs> Forensic Files. Southern Fried Homicide. Oh, I gotta say, I do not do Forensic Files. First episode I ever saw scared me half to death, and I was convinced I would never see another crime show. And now I literally have like a small obsession with criminal lines. What yeah. other crime shows? I like NCIS. I, I don't like Bones. Law and Order, SVU. That's her favorite. Her favorite crime show. But I mean, I'm talking like any Dateline like, 2020. Those just creep me out. And it's forensic. Not, forensic well, I, I love forensic. Dateline files. sounds bad, but I don't do 2020. I do not do forensic files. No, I'm not kidding. The first episode. She loves the man's voice on Forensic Files. It's so creepy. I want to know how much they pay him. It's not like that. No, no. The first and last. Jennifer. The when, <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> when, no, the first. From her coffee shop at 1 a.m. And no one saw her Sorry. alive again. No, the first episode of a crime show I ever saw was Forensic Files. And I was, this is, I gotta put this in there, y'all. <laughs> I used to spend the night with my grandparents every Friday. And they really liked watching Dateline. And one time, Forensic Files was on. <laughs> and, what did you do? <laughs> one time, Forensic Files was on. And it was an episode about a home invasion. And it was a grandmother and a granddaughter. We watching, don't need to go into detail. Watching. We might have a young audience. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I just happened to be, I did not sleep that last that night. I swore I would never watch another crime show. Oh, my hive is coming. I can feel it. It's right there. Um, but now. But you have to understand my grandparents' house 
when it's dark, they, they watch TV without any lights on in their yeah. dark living room, and their front door has this huge arch above it. And that, everyone can see it from the road. That it, you can see there, there's no like film or anything over it. It's so creepy, you're, it's you're just watching it. Plus, if you're in the bathroom and you don't close the door, which I always close the door, but I feel like one time I probably didn't. Like, you, you, there's stairs, and I just I always <laughs> imagine someone like walking down with like a hatchet or something. <laughs> Anyways, my last one is I cannot stand coffee of any kind. She is obsessed with coffee. Well, she's not obsessed, but she loves coffee, especially Starbucks. I don't like coffee. I want to like it. I feel like it's so cool and trendy, and you just like want to go to Starbucks and get like a mocha frappuccino or whatever you call. But I don't like it. It's gross. It's bitter. It gives me a headache. I don't like it's coffee. A stimulant. But I mean, it's bitter. Like, it tastes yucky. It's like caffeine. I don't like caffeine. No, I don't like to right. drink anything. I don't. You can get hooked on caffeine. I drink sweet tea. Caffeine is actually tough. Without though. caffeine. I don't like caffeine. You drink soda. Caffeine free sodas. Root beer, Sprite, and Dr. Pepper are all. Not Dr. Pepper. Well, I know Sprite Dr. and root Thunder, beer. Maybe. Dr. Pepper, maybe. Dr. Pepper. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, coffee, that's my last one. The next thing we're going to do is 10 random facts about each other. So she's going to tell you random facts about me that she thought of, and I'm going to tell you random facts about her that I thought of, and she's going to go first. So I'm we scared. Go. So 10 facts about Hannah that I thought of. So number one, she's outspoken. Very. She gets that from our grandmother. Um, she's not afraid to tell you what she thinks of you, what she thinks is right and wrong. And she will stand up for herself no matter the circumstance. So you don't want to mess with her because <laughs> when she's mad, it's scary. Um, but yeah, she'll tell you anything. Like, she'll say it. So she's outspoken. <laughs> All right, number two, she only cries when she's angry. Like, this is true. extremely angry. To the point where I feel like to the point I'm just going to bust. Comes out. Yeah, like, she probably doesn't even want to, just like happens. But she, like, that's the. And then when time. I cry, I get even madder that I cried. Yeah. <laughs> This Except for the time you got your horrid haircut. <laughs> That's the only time I've ever seen you, like, cry about any plate. Uh, have we even told them about my horrid haircut? I don't know. I don't laugh. This time last year, short version, I wanted to get my hair cut to here. And I showed her a picture. It was a long bobs. It was a lob. And I go to the place. I'm not even remembering that, girl. <laughs> I go to the place. Great clips. And... <laughs> She like she brings my hair, she brings my hair down, and I can feel a chop like right here, and I'm like, yeah, it was like on? it was like slanted. From it was ear. my ear. It was as short as my ear. That's why her hair is short. And because my my hair was like from here, it went from here to here. It was traumatic. My hair was red, like fire engine red. <laughs> it was bad. And then so she gave me a haircut to here, layers and bangs. Yeah, it, I she cried. cried. I so I felt so hideous. It was horrid. Now thank God that's over. It was traumatic. So that's that one. Okay, number three. She loves her cats like children. This is so true. If the house was on fire and I was in it, she would probably get all the cats out before that's me. That's not true. I'd get you both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, her cats are her babies. I mean, I can't lie, mine's mine too. But like, not quite as obsessed. Not saying I don't love my kids. I don't have kids. So, and I've had my, my cats are turning six years old this year. And I, I lost, I lost a pet right before I got them. So, yeah, I am extremely protective. Um, I don't like get, let them get away with everything. I try not to. But they're my babies and they sleep with me and everything. So this is true. Mm -hmm. I love animals in general though. Yeah, that goes along with my thing. That should have been a random fact about me. I think y'all know that though, that I stare at people when I get angry. <laughs> that should have been one of my things. If I see somebody even remotely being cruel to an animal, I'll sit there for 10 minutes and stare you down, bro. Like, it's on. <laughs> like, especially, and if they're being mean to their children, oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> I'll look at them, and sometimes this one time I was in a car, and the lady in the car next to me was like shoving her child into her car seat and the kid was trying to go to the bathroom and then the mom wouldn't let her. So I just sat there out my window, crossed my arm and looked at that lady until she drove off. And she watched me look at her too. And then she like mouthed what? Or she just like, went like this. And I was like, <laughs> it was so fun. Anyways. Okay, she likes organic gummy bears. Oh, it's a good fact. Yes, she prefers them over regular ones. Mm -hmm. They're and the best. I, I don't know. They're made with real fruit juice, 100% real fruit juice. 
and they don't have gelatin in them, which is made from animal fat. They're the best. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, number five. She doesn't play phone games. We have an interesting story about this. So I actually noticed this yesterday and felt so bad. I thought I had time. I thought I had time. Well, you didn't. I beat you by eight points. So, um, she isn't really into phone games, and I wasn't until this year because of, obviously, COVID, and this week there's been snow, so we haven't been <laughs> able to leave. Um, but I really, I downloaded New One. That's good, y'all. But anyways, she's not into phone games. She, I feel like the only one you play is words, words with friends. And when we lost power one time, oh, that night was bad. We need a story on that time sometime. Um, we lost power one night and we had nothing to do and our phones were dying and all the lights were off, obviously. And so, uh, she got me to download Where's with Friends so we could play together while the electricity was off. Yes. And, um... So we started playing and stuff, and then now I can't get her to play me back. And just yesterday, I forget. she timed out because it had been like eight days. And I ten. played yesterday. <sighs> yeah, she I play about me. every ten days. So she doesn't like phone games. There you go. Okay, um, number six, she hates lying slash liars. That is definitely one of your biggest... It's not even like a pet peeve. It's just like one of your. It's a, it's it a deal her, breaker to me. It makes her very angry. I feel if like you lie to her. Oh, it's, it's over. over. Like, okay, seriously, I don't care what you do. I do, but it will hurt me more if you lie about it. Like I don't care if you go rob a bank. I'd rather you tell me than lie to me about it. Because if you lie to me, you're nothing to me anymore. Like you are dirt to me. Because I feel like lying is cowardice, which I also hate. <laughs> I hate cowards. And I feel like it's like, if you break my trust, I will never trust you again. So don't break my trust. Like, I will still trust you if you do something bad and you tell me about it. Because then you have courage. But if you break my trust and you lie to me, it's over. Don't even get me started. I'm not starting to get hives. I'm getting mad. <laughs> yeah, that's that one. Okay, number seven, I think. She's obsessed with candles. <laughs> I feel like we don't have to say anything else. Just leave it there. Candles. At Rats. one point when she first moved back here to where we live um she had a cabinet that she put in the new house they were renting and the drawers and the door would stay partly open because you couldn't shut it because it was full and like coming out with candles like it was everywhere they were just candles 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 <laughs> i won't talk about how i just said candles but i still love candle why did you just say candle you said i still love candle is it a person girl? Should I know something? Or something I don't know. Because I love candle too. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Alright, number eight. Her love language is quality time. We have the same love language, actually. Really? I did a quiz a couple days ago. Really? That, yeah. that really surpasses me about you. You like to be alone. Yes. Oh, that's a, that's a bonus fact about me. I love being alone. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> number nine. She considers me her best friend. This is true. Used to be my brother, but my brother, alas, went off me. <laughs> he, um, we he were lost we, interest. <laughs> he lost interest. We were very close from the time he was born up until this really was when like, I was alone. a couple of years ago. They were real close. We were. <laughs> we went to the same school, obviously. I haven't um, never been to a school. <laughs> when, we, so. when we were homeschooled, we would do our school together. I mean, we were only we really stuck in his room at night. We were two years apart. He's, he was the only person who ever knew what I went through as a child. So, we were very close. But now he's like, my brother's 22 years old. So, he's like, moving away from me. Yeah. So now. He works, eats, and sleeps, and that's it. Yes. Shoot, we're lucky if we get it sometime. Okay, right? number 10. My last random fact about Hannah. She likes sour candy. <laughs> Let me tell you. Da -da -da -da! Yeah. She, well, you like candy, like, a lot anyways, but mm -hmm. especially sour candy. Mm -hmm. Like, she eats a lot of it. I remember the same house that we are talking about, the cabinet with the candles. Um, <laughs> she had this bag that just stayed by, the, by, the, by this chair, actually. This chair is actually considered mine now because in this house, the seating was really bad. So, we both 
crammed in the chair like we are right now, but except like worse because she was bigger. <laughs> uh, we would cram in the chair to watch TV, and I remember she always had this like Kroger bag or Walmart bag that always sat in the floor. I feel like it was probably. I forgot like, about that. It was just candy, sour candy, <laughs> over. Filling like she would buy candy all the time. If we went to the store, and the candy. Sometimes aisle, I wouldn't eat meals. I would just eat candy. Yeah, it's probably why I got cavities. You're, you're doing better now. I mean, I you're, hardly you're buy. We have some candy, but yeah, there was this bag of candy that just stayed there. So she likes sour candy. That is my final <laughs> fact about Hannah. Ten facts about little Ladia. Me. Number one, she is extremely. Grumpy when she's tired. <laughs> and I don't mean like, I mean, she is beyond. If she's even getting tired, like I'll be like, let's watch a movie. And she'll go, I'm tired. <laughs> and, or, and she'll fall asleep on the couch and I'll be like, come on, you gotta go to bed. And she'll be like, huh? I'm tired. <laughs> And, or yeah, or I'll be like, come on, just watch one more, one more episode. I'm tired. It's time for bed. <laughs> Don't mess with her. But her mom is the same <laughs> way. If you try, if you try to wake my mom up, I'm gonna cut. Or like, I swear, like sometimes if we're sick in the ow my legs, if we're Sorry. sick in the middle of the night, or not this doesn't happen anymore because we don't run to our mommy in the middle of the night. I would if I'm sick. Well, Anyways, yeah. if you try to wake my mom up, let's say one of us threw up or something and go to talk to my mom. <laughs> I'd say, Mom, I'm really sick. And she'd go, What can I do about it? <laughs> yeah, that's so true. And she'll say, There's, Go back to bed. There's nothing I can do about it. I think my hive is here. <laughs> so she kicks after my mom. She's extremely grumpy and she's tired. That was much more funny than it needed to be. <laughs> okay, number two. She kind of already said this, but she gets embarrassed extremely easily. And I have a story to go along with this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. So, Lydia, well, actually, I have a couple stories. One happened today at, at Walmart. <clears throat> there were some attractive people in Walmart today. There was this giant pile of snow. I mean, it was taller than vehicles, taller than, like, five people stacking on top of each other. I mean, it was up there. My mom wanted to take a picture of it, and so she's like, who wants to take a picture in front of the big pile of snow? I'm stumped. And I said I would, so I went and stood in front of it, and Lydia's halfway into Walmart. I left them behind. And another Walmart story about her getting embarrassed. This is the macaroni story? Yes. I love this story. I hate it. I'm, I'm so I, I we did. were in Walmart, and I was trying to get a box of macaroni, and there was people standing really close to me on my left. And so I'm short five foot, but I can reach the top shelf, so I grabbed it. When I grabbed it, one of the boxes knocked another box off onto the lady's head that was standing beside me. I mean, onto her head. And her husband goes, shots fired! And then I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm so sorry. He's like, you just tried to take out my wife. Today. I was like, you just want to hit my wife today? I was like, so embarrassed. And I was looking around for Lydia for her support. And I see, I see Lydia walking by pushing the cart in her mask like a random lady who doesn't know me. And she was like all the way down to the end of the aisle and I needed support. I was so embarrassed and she was like gone. She didn't know. She was like doo, doo, doo. So anyway. I was looking straight ahead. <laughs> so she got embarrassed really easily. I said we still haven't forgotten that as you can see. Number three. She's privately sensitive. So Lydia just got serious. She's Tom. <laughs> Number three, she's privately sensitive. She top secret FBI. <laughs> she will act like things don't bother her and things don't hurt her, but they do. Like pe things people say to her, things her friends say to her, things I'll say to her, things that happen if people fight in front of her. She acts like it's, she's fine, but then when she goes home, she'll cry in her bed or. Like, write it down. <laughs> I'm not being mean. I don't like, have a diary. Well, whatever. She'll go listen I'll to write, depressing I'll write, music. I'll write poems about it. Yeah. Like, she is, she's very sensitive, but she doesn't want you to see her sensitivity. She wants to deal with it alone. So, she's like, I don't know how to put it. She's very introverted when it comes to her feelings. Number four. She eats like a bird. <laughs> Literally, sometimes I have to force feed her. 
not like with my hand, but like make her eat. Because not like with my hand, but like <laughs> she she doesn't like she just doesn't feel like she, I guess she wants to survive on air because she doesn't feel like she needs to eat or drink. She doesn't drink either. I don't hardly drink anything. I'm surprised she's healthy. She's an OCD slash neat freak. She must have Obsessive things. compulsive disorder. Yes, she must have things perfectly neat. If I move something on her dresser, she will move it back. Her clothes are not only color coordinated, which mine are too, but they're coordinated by outfit. Like outfits that go together or all of her skirts, all of her dresses, all of her long dresses, all of her sleeveless, short sleeve, blah, blah, blah. And she has to have things a certain way. And if her room is a messy at all. I clean my room in the morning when I get up and I clean it before I go to bed. And she makes sure her covers are straight and all that. Oh yeah. Like, so, like, like if I know I don't like, <laughs> even if I don't make my bed, like with all the pillows and stuff, I have to make sure the covers are like completely straight. Okay. Next. She does not like horror movies. She'll watch thrillers with me. We like, I like to, thrillers. We like to watch the thrillers together, but she doesn't like jump scares. Jump scares. I can do gruesome, and I can do blood, and I can do blades to the to an extent. Yeah, I'm not but she I like it. she doesn't. No, if there's a jump scare, we'll be sitting on the couch, and she'll be like, "No, I can't do this. No." Why would you want, why would you, why would you, why would you even want to watch something that, you sound like mom, why would you want to be afraid? <laughs> okay, next, her favorite food is goldfish and patties. <laughs> and I'm not talking about hamburger patties, y'all. I'm talking about mint patties. <laughs> the candy, York mint patties, goldfish and patties are her favorite food, and don't forget it. Next. She has an obsession with staring at people. <laughs> She's already kind of gone into this, but it's much worse than y'all know. She will be sitting in the back seat. <laughs> she usually has to sit in the back seat because I can't. I'll get sick. She gets sick. <laughs> so, so I get stuck in the back. And she's also Every younger than me. So. <laughs> so. Oh, fun fact about Hannah. She loves saying that people are younger than her. She's like, <laughs> did you know? She's younger than me. Did you know? He's younger than me. Oh my gosh, I looked it up and he's younger than me. So annoying. But she'll sit in the back seat and we'll be at a red light. She, like today, she's like, there's a creep staring at you, girl. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, he's picking at his fingernails and he's so, 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 so. He's biting his fingernails. He looks like this. He's wearing this. And, or she'll just like stare at somebody like. <laughs> she has an obsession and she doesn't <laughs> care. Sometimes we'll be at the mall and I'll look over. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm staring at this person. She's like, hold up, I'm staring. Well, part of it happened. It got, it's gotten worse since that one girl smirked at me. <laughs> I didn't we know. were in Forever 21, and there's this... my story. And I'll no, tell I, you. it was my story. <laughs> we, we were in the checkout line, and I noticed this girl. Well, first of all, this was before. Well, the mask mandate was happening, but I don't know if they were like, yeah, they were enforcing it, but it wasn't like as serious as it is now. And we were standing in Forever 21 in the checkout line, and this girl was popular. This popular blonde. Trendy girl was staring at me. Curled hair. Yeah. She was staring at me, and she literally was staring well, at me. She didn't have on a mask. She, she did not have on a she mask. She was the only one in her group that didn't have on a mask. So she was staring at me like this. <laughs> and yeah. I said, Lydia, look at that girl. And Lydia's like, I didn't notice it. Five minutes later, Lydia's <laughs> face is red, draining red. I'm like, what's the matter? Oh, and she goes, sweaty. that girl just looked me up and down and smirked at me. She's like, she did. She's like, oh wait. Just wait. So she gets in the line. She steps out of her place in line. Looks at the girl like this. I crossed my arms. And she goes. Yeah. And she just stared at her until I was done checking out and we left the store. And she was in a horrid mood the rest of the day. She's like, how dare that girl? She doesn't even know me. Yeah, I didn't do anything to her. But like, it wasn't as effective as it usually is because I had on a mask. But <laughs> I mean, if you look me up and down and just smirk for no reason, you deserve it. And she got what she deserves. She's still mad about it. I am. That okay. girl was a real hole. <laughs> okay, gonna... next. She thinks I don't have a brain. <laughs> Lydia honestly has...
has sometimes questioned whether she is adopted and a part of this family or not. Yes, I have. <laughs> she does not like, she's not like, she's more mature, I guess, in a way. I don't she, like Andy. She's like, she doesn't think the same. She doesn't like thrifting, goodwill. She doesn't like to be goofy. She doesn't like accents. I don't like to be touched. She doesn't like when people miss, miss say words. Like, for instance, <laughs> my mom gets this box. It's a subscription box called Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix. And <laughs> my mom calls it Stitch Bitch. <laughs> and it makes her so Angry. mad. Sometimes Lydia will hit me and she's like, I have questions. I belong with this family. So yes. And next, last but not least, <clears throat> she's not affectionate unless something is wrong. So she's not an affectionate person. If someone tells her they love her, she will not say it back unless she's texting. Like I'll say I love you and she'll be like, <laughs> or my mom will say, like, like today. I love you, Lydia. <laughs> yeah. My mom was leaving the car and she goes, I love you, Lydia. And Lydia's like, <laughs> And uh, so she's not affectionate. Awkward. But the other day, I was having a really, really the day. The other day, it was last night. I was having a really bad day, and I was really depressed. And then all of a sudden, Lydia goes, I love you. And I was like, <laughs> And wasn't that special? I used our nicknames. But still, she said she loved me, which was... Like three times, actually. Which was only because I was... I was in the bathroom. Literally in the depths of despair. <laughs> so, anyways... That's our 10 facts about each other. That's our video. Hope you loved it. Hope you learned something new. Comment down below what your favorite fact was about each person. Please comment. I mean, if you're watching this to the end, please comment. We love it and y'all don't do it. So comment. I, you know who you are. You always comment. We love it. We love you. Thanks. I will say it, girl. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> My hive is getting worse. Anyways, comment down below what your favorite fact was. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.